Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZT livestream. I am your host, tour guide, and Museum of ZZT curator, Dr. Das, and today we are, hopefully, finally going to finish getting through ZZT, the next generation, and bringing an end to this long-running series. Oh boy, a hype chest I will click to open. I got the Touch of Salt emote. Perfect for those salty moments. But yeah, uh, thank you all very much for all the pre-stream support. What, what did I miss here? I was still getting ready. Uh, Ellipses did his usual thing, and it looks like he dropped a 10. 10 sub gifted subscriptions to all kinds of folks here. And Gold Buick getting in with a 9-month resub there. Zin with the cheer for a number that I haven't... I don't have in my little HUD, 100 bits, and 128 from Gold Buick, too, and then a subscription from Retro... Oh, no, a subscription to Retro Home, home Brew. I almost said Home Bro, which would be very funny. Gold Buick gifting out 21 in total here as well, so thank you all for... See, uh, you got the red card one? I saw the red card, and truthfully, I would like to have the red card panda at the ready. I'm not going to need a pinch of salt. That's just going to make people angrier in any context in which I can use that one. Arguably so is the red card, though, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much. But yeah, we have been slowly getting through this lengthy fuck around and find out Super ZZT adventure. ZZT, the next generation. And Lord willing... I think we're going to get it done today. It's, it's it's November. We're no longer under legal obligation to play Super ZZT games, is the thing. Super ZZT games, spooky games, they don't have to continue. But I don't want to stop now. But I do want to get going. Let's see here. Ah, right now, wrong scene. The Super ZZT one, please. Oh yeah, that's right. I I will continue to forget instantly. And this game says that there's a very long palindrome in it. Which so far has gone undiscovered, but I don't know how thoroughly we were searching. I'm worried we already missed it. Because we are definitely on our way out with this game at this point. What game? This game. You know, with the library and the silly field airport and I love these houses still what was this and just anti-centipede propaganda for no real reason but yeah we spent last time exploring a lot of silly fields we're trying to get some coordinates in space and time for some kind of a base and we purposely skipped the plaza because it also looks to be jam-packed. I figure if we save it for now, we immediately get a whole bunch of new stuff to do right off the bat. And I'm worried we're already going to get locked in. You know, I also thought it was a crucifix, but no, that's the air traffic control tower. That's, that's just a guy in the heavens. It's not a guy in heaven. Okay, so this is how we're, this is how we're going to do it then. We're going to be locked in the mall. Well, see, now it's interesting in Super ZZT, because I don't know what any of these places are. There's no labels, and they're not divisible. I'm going to guess this is a fast food place. I could see those down there being tables, maybe. Chris Petri's Plus. It's the Wildcat Seeking Missile. 3,000 gems is for rich Wildcat bashers only. And again, if you have 3,000 gems, you can just buy a copy of Wildcat and bash it up with a hammer or something. Oh, well. What? They tell me what your store is. They refuse. Black t-shirts. Okay, so these are clothes racks. What is, what is Wildcats? Why are we bashing them? 
Kill the cat. Don't wear that shirt. I ate wild cat for lunch. The official wild cat basher's handbook. Hopefully this answers some questions. This handsomely bound compendium contains some of Chris's most famous anti-WC lines, such as, How much do you want to bet I can do anything you want with the Renegade? But I'm right. Everyone knows I'm the god of ANSI. What's up with you fools? You should talk, spam eater. Dude, you're dumb. I mean, that's an internet argument, yeah. I'm still at a loss. Baseball caps. I have no clue what this store is. Is it... Is it like a flight sim? Wildcat. Sounds like what you'd call a plane. I feel like I've heard of a plane and there's missiles. To shoot down the plane? I don't... Thank you. This place just... And hey, they made a good joke. Welcome to Chimp, the sports store for the Neanderthal. They're trying there. Much better. Bat, football, and baseball. Oh boy. Hellcat was a World War II plane. Okay, so it is a plane. I think it's just like an... I, f I think there really was like an early DOS flight sim. I guess Renegade is a competitor's product, and you gotta pick a side with the brands. Green Bay Packlets. How much money do I have? Uh, enough to just buy some of everything. One bat. Don't need a football. But we will need a baseball. Interesting. I kind of like that it's hinting at which of these will be relevant. Is this the AE ligature? You can't even really tell. It looks completely different, and it's not good at this resolution. What we got here. Behind this display case lies a revolution in sports equipment. Sorry, sports equipment. You too can use at home. Now you can reenact your favorite games in your own backyard. It's a little hard to chug beer, but at least you'll be rid of the people who are always bugging you to get off your butt and do something. Ah, I see. Okay. Get it? You can, you can play sports and not just watch them. Several half-naked women. Whatever happened to show, don't tell. Alright, guess some autograph magic here. Why are there multiple Super ZZT games in which you have a baseball autographed? Okay, I'll autograph your ball if you buy me a burger. I like lots of ketchup, too. Jim? So there's got to be if the food court. Uh, I guess this is a gun store. Killer's outpost. Oh yeah, see, it's just like the last game. We can we can buy our cop killer ammo again. Two hundred gems for an assault rifle. When you ask for the assault rifle, the store clerk clenches his teeth and starts pounding his fists on the counter. Dang those bleeding heart liberals and their assault rifle vans. I can no longer order my top selling assault rifles. Die, die. Store clerk starts firing shots off randomly. You quickly duck under the counter and avoid the bullets. Well. 1995, everybody. Normal ammo, armor-piercing ammo. I'll take some the Cop Killer Edition ammo, please. No gems. Never mind. I won't. Card rack. Card of a naked Easter egg with no paint. Gad, it's only 100 gems. Shocking. Novelty cards. I the Jing Cross Road. Everyone knows that. It's... Uh, stupid. A beagle mask? The block cushion. Okay, so I guess we're in a, an unfunny store. Okay, that's why these jokes are bad. A hologram of an enormous bird. Big Bird's dad, to be exact. Has... Do we know what Big Bird's dad looks like? Dang, calling out the lava lamp, even. 
stupid lava lamp. 400 gems. Yeah, that's the same on both sides. A true expert will make both sides of the rack have different things. Fake mustache. 900 gems. All of a silly fields purveyor of expensive stuff. Expensive gifts. What would you like to buy? Carefully look over the prices in the store and you realize that you, all you can hope to afford is a peanut for 50 gems. You wisely go peanutless. No peanut. Sleeping old geezer who probably lives in the mall. When you walk by him, he wakes up and says, Do you see that white ASCII old one running around over there? That's Otis Barnacle. He won't let anyone near him who doesn't have a stupid mustache. Oh, do you see that storefront over there on Chimps? Why, I remember back in 96 when they remodeled it. The old geezer trails off and falls back asleep. Are they hoping their store would get remodeled next year? Well, the San Francisco Transom Company. Silly Fields' only wholesale transom dealer. You have all different colors of transoms, too. Which transom would you like? What's a transom? Sales clerk just stares at you funny. You look up transom in your Huddest English Dictionary. The translation is blah. Oh, I appreciate the continuity. Okay, so I, I'm worried I'm going to actually need money, especially since I'm locked in here. What's Oasis doing at the mall? Okay, there's Otis. This looks like a food court. Pumpkin donuts. That would probably do well. The rabbit food salad bar, where we serve the finest salads in the mall. How how mean is this about to get towards rabbits again? Chef salad, seizure salad, fruit salad, jello salad. Characters by the Lutheran Women's Society of Sillyfield Coleslaw. I'm going to take a risk and see what happens if I buy something called Seizure Salad in this game. Yeah. Okay. I was... I'm just glad there was no animation. But I also wanted to know if it was just going to kill us. Taco Bowl! Wow. You really thought hard with that one. Finest Ground Bowls. I mean... Who doesn't enjoy a fine ground bowl now and then? Uh, I will have the tostada. We. Oui. I'm never going to be able to afford that mustache. Toe beans. Regrets. Taco. Fine. Burrito. Now he grabs a tortilla, slops on some beans, adds some cheese, and presents the new burrito. Alright. I'm just... You gotta see this stuff. It's all this game has to offer. It's really weird to me that, like, they don't give you an absurd amount of money. You can't see these, and none of them are, like, so exciting that anybody would ever want to, like, go back and play the game again to see what the enchiladas are like. Never had a fast food enchilada. Well, I'd like to, is the thing. I'd like to, you know, engage this game. Mommy's Burgers? Oh. I don't think you should call your business that. One Mommy Burger. Out of ketchup. Shake of the day? Mango. That's good. I like that when they can't even come up with anything. They just say we. Popsky's Deli, home of the pastrami in... Home to the pastrami in the restaurant. What would you like? Coffee bean on potato roll, stump on rye, the Warren sandwich, cheese on fruit cake, mystery pita. This will probably kill us. Spoiled by Solid Hud, where I get like 50 at a time doing this. Who knows what food lurks in the heart of the mystery pita? Okay. 
Okay. I'm honestly really surprised that it wasn't spam. Stump on rye. Coffee bean on potato roll. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can just harass some customers. Oh, it's Morn! Morn! Morn holds up a sign that reads, There's no beer in the Oasis. I wonder if this is based on a real mall layout. How slice of life are we talking about here? Oh, hey, it's Kurt Cobain's ghost, eating a crunchy frog. He turns to you and says, hi. You ask him for his autograph, but he's a non-corporeal entity. I'm Barry Brooks, and I haven't called the Warren since August of 93, but I was able to get a cameo because of the random cameo program. Convenient. Yeah, it was, uh... Honestly, I'm kind of surprised it's this... land. I feel like anybody posting on a BBS probably had some... I mean, shit, you didn't have to be posting on... Yeah, like, I feel like, in general, people had strong opinions on Kurt Cobain at this moment in time. But nah, he's, he's chill. He's just eating his frog? I don't actually know my Nirvana super well. Coming soon, the Silly Plaza Creek. Every other mall in the world has a fountain, but only Silly Plaza has a creek. Hey, I need a transom, but I don't know what one is. If you can find me a transom and tell me what it is, I'll give you something. What? I don't know. I'll think of something. Okay, so it, it seems like we do need to get a whole lot of money, and I've just been cheating for money, and I don't have nearly enough money. So it's already a little worrying. Stupid neon bar sign. All you can drink on Wednesday nights. More excluded. That's a really long neon sign. 20 gallons of beer. Perfect gift for the man in your life. I think we're just getting nothing but that. Welcome to Beer World. Silly Fields only beer emporium. Want to buy a keg? 20 gems for 20 gallons. Yeah. But I don't have the money. I want to find a source of money. Oh, this is the end of the mall. Already. Okay. Portrait of Mr. Hilton's grandfather, who first combined the world of candy and epicax. Let's see. Take a number. Like they have at Knee's Candy. That seems too... Too deep a pull to... Not be a real place. Hello, I'm Mr. Hilton, and welcome to the Wizzo Chocolate Company, home of the Tobacco Crunch Bar. What would you like? Crunchy Frog. Wasn't... And forgive me for discussing Harry Potter lore on stream, but, like, wasn't that... Weren't, like, chocolate frogs a thing in that book? Is this... Is this the, the true origin? I guess it's crunchy and not chocolate. The Paco Crunch. J-Guns, 14-month resub. Thank you so much. Have a tobacco crunch bar on me. Just as fun as normal tobacco, except it's a candy bar. Yeah, I don't I don't have the culture to like appreciate everything in this game. Spring surprise. You pop the spring surprise into your mouth, two stainless steel bolts spring out and plunge through both cheeks. You should have heeded Superintendent Parrot's warning. Not the item I thought was gonna kill me, but apparently we were warned, like Several weeks ago. Ram's Bladder Cup. Definitely had better Ram's Bladder Cups before. There's just too much Lark's Vomit in this Bladder Cup. This seems like a gross sketch. The Anthrax Ripple. And the Cockroach Cluster. 
Yeah, I mean, same. Candy guy, I don't want to think about your gross candy either. Um. So what is it I'm actually supposed to be doing here? They don't have burgers at the burger place, so I can't get that guy a burger. This guy won't tell me what a transom is. I guess I could buy one for the guy. Small transom. Okay. Here you go. I see you have the transom, but unfortunately I still don't know what the heck a transom is. But I know I need one. See, it says right here on page 37 of my Bridge Builder's Handbook. Don't forget the transom. can't leave, so going to the library to look up transom isn't an option. It's always these malls. It's always where I get stuck. Bought all the food here. Sorry, we're out of ketchup. Was I able to buy a burger sans ketchup? Is that a start? Hmm. Any ketchup? Any ketchup? Not... Not excited about figuring this out. What the heck do I need to do here? I really don't want to touch every single seat. But I am hitting that point. But I really don't think this is going to get me anywhere either. Kirk Cobain also won't give us an autograph. Would I feel like this is beyond this game's depth, but like, would the joke be the fruit salad contains ketchup? And then you can talk about tomatoes being a fruit or a vegetable, and then, you know, ketchup would be a funny tomato substitute for a salad. Get these people to make. This food court doesn't seem to be particularly helpful. I just want a mommy burger. But they refuse. What else would you need in here? That was all too expensive to actually buy. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Store clerk notices that you really want that mustache. We could trade, you know. If you have anything that is worthless but looks spiffy, like something autographed by a famous person, we might be able to arrange a deal. So we either not need a burger with ketchup, or we need to resurrect Kurt Cobain. It's probably that. I really suspect of the two now. This was just ammo. Don't I have... Oh, that was ten gems. I have five gems. Okay, so I have some ammo. I don't think that's going to really be relevant, but... The wildcats, shirts, caps... Book. This guy doesn't say anything. Autograph your ball if you buy me a burger. I like lots of ketchup. 
I think it's time to look at the editor. So, actually, do I have... Did I remember to enable the editor when I launched Super ZZT and that brilliant decision? Oh, I did. Okay, now the next thing to consider is trust nothing about this editor. Immediately save it as a different file. And it's like, it's such a breath of air being able to just read this text and not, like, melt my eyes. Oh, silly fields. It's gotta be in one of these. Um, probably minus fines. Fizzle's house. Where was it? Plaza. There we go. Okay. This goes to. Okay. The final edition. Interesting. After the U win board, you don't do nothing, right? You do not. Are you not even an object? I didn't know you could make these characters in Super ZZT's editor with just text. All right, let's see which of my hunches is right. Kurt Cobain, do you have any any secrets? You do not. So it's gotta be Jim. Jim Moronsky. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I had the ball before I talked to this guy. I was like, who is Jim? Should I just know a baseball player by Jim and Jim alone? This also... Okay, okay. So there is code here. You have to get him a burger. What do I gotta do at Mommy Burger to get a burger? Gotta catch up. Egad. This isn't helping me at all. And there. Find Taco Bowl. Oh, I didn't realize the pinto beans hurt us and we could have died from them. That's good. None of these seem relevant. Okay, that's how we get out of here. Have to buy the beer. How are we supposed to have gotten this money? I had to cheat for basically everything I spent in here, and I know I've been cheating before for some of these stores. Alright, well, let's buy that beer. I think I'll try the file viewer or something. I need to actually be able to search, because I'm still not seeing the answer. Oh. Wrong save. It's incredible to me that this game is so stingy with its money. Okay. One beer keg. Oh, but that does let us leave, which means I might be able to get ketchup elsewhere. There you go, Morn. Walk over to Morn, hand him a 20 gallon beer keg. Morn chugs it in one gulp. He nods in appreciation and wanders off, but not before leaving a green key. So now we're free to leave. I think I really gotta look up, like, ketchup or something. I don't think this is cooperating right now, but just in case, no. If that'll do, okay. Next generation. Sorry, the super ZZT tile viewer is awful. 
Load. Thank you. Actually, I guess I should. Let's look up catch up. Three tiles. Okay, we have to figure out what a transom is. So I need the flag look up. I have to go back to base? This is abysmal. Why did I make it like this? No, okay, that clears it. Okay, okay. That's right. There actually were there were dictionaries in the library, so I did have the right idea. I just didn't commit to the bit. Buy it. There we go. Alright, we're back on track then. Volume three. You look up transom. In the OED, Volume 3, there are about three columns of definition, such as a crossbeam, especially one spanning an opening to carry a superstructure, a lintel, the transverse top beam of a gallows, a swing, or the like, the lintel stone, the trillith, a beam resting across a saw pit to support the log. You decide to go with this first definition. Okay. You know, a lintel. I think this is the first time I've had to use a dictionary in a ZBT game. I think that's kind of funny in its own right. Okay. Hand the bridge worker his transom and you tell him what it means. Gee, thanks. Bridge worker roots through his lunchbox and pulls out three packets of ketchup. I mean, there's a shooting gallery outside. I guess you're supposed to grind for cash? That seems pretty miserable. Okay. So it wasn't that they were out of burgers, it was that they were out of ketchup. Buy the burger and pour the ketchup on it. Now go get that baseball autograph. Finally. Okay, give Jim his burger. Thanks a lot. Jim whips out a pen, which shoots out ink at you. Sorry, it leaks sometimes. Jim signs the baseball. Can you smudge it a little so it looks old? Sure. Onward to expensive gifts. What's this one? Show the autographed baseball to the sales guy. Hey, Jim Moronsky, didn't he play with the AstroTurfs? You gonna take the ball or what? Oh yeah, how about this mustache in exchange? Sure, why not? Okay, I hope that gave me the mustache. Why did I need a mustache again? This is a common complaint with this game. What did I need a mustache for? There was somebody in here, wasn't there? Oh, this the, the wandering guy. Yeah, this guy. He will only talk to people wearing mustaches. I do. You put up. You put on the fake mustache and walk up to Otis. Hi, Otis. He turns around and starts to run, but he sees your stupid mustache and is comforted. Can I have your ID card? Heck no. You decide to start a fight. Sit on a potato pan, Otis. Otis panics and starts shooting. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. This is a, a place of business. Speaking of which... Hang on one second, buddy. I need to buy more ammo. Okay, Otis falls over dead, and you steal his ID card. Nobody seems to notice. 
Okay, so I have an ID card. Oh man, now I have to like go back to last week. What the heck do I do with that? I am once again at a loss. It's a grim portrait of America, is what this game is. Um, sorry. I was trying to be quick about looking this up instead of changing the scene like I should have. Gives me the flag ID. Uh oh, that's that's a short one. If we... Oh right. Okay. What a bizarre little game. These two have come up with. Okay, so we're gonna use our ID to commit identity theft of the man we just killed. Once I find... There we go, the movie theater again. That's right, the Lost and Found had something. I think it had one of the coordinates we needed for the whole find the base thing. Okay, yes, I am Otis Barnacle. Show the manager the ID card he stole from Otis. Okay, looks good, he says. Hand you the X coordinate. That's one. No idea if I have the other... I think there was one in the bank that we also didn't get yet. I'm gonna head back to the hideout, because that's where I need to take this stuff anyway. I open one of these? Yes, okay. Feed the X-Corn into the slot. The machine clicks and the door opens. Good. Need the y coordinate still. Good luck. Which... Either also somewhere in Silly Fields, or it's in this other place that we've yet to go to. I figure we'll go here anyway. Time portal wasn't as bad as you thought. You look around. So this is 1995. I can't wait to see everything this author thinks defines 1995. I'm loving this walkway. Excellent landscaping work. Bob Dog. Here's the doorbell ring and runs over to the door barking like heck. Andy hears you too, and being too lazy to get off his butt and open the door himself, opens it with his spiffy remote control. Bob Dog sees it's you and runs off. The new toilet. It's the return of the letters D and O on the anniversary of the night we all betrayed them. Ghostbusters symbol, of course, of course. It's Andy's mom, Nancy Shile. Is this the first time somebody's actual mother has appeared in one of these games? This seems like another new moment. Halt! Who enters my bedroom? It's me, the hero. You can't come in here. I'm cleaning. Tell Andy to take his friend somewhere else. Unless, of course, you've got a Porsche 912 that I can have. Uh... I mean, I would I would argue that what was it called? Invasion ZZT. I mean, I guess that's not really of the era. That's still like a decade late. But that game is. There's no way that game isn't tremendously Earthbound inspired. Oh, I can close the door even. That's nice. Uh, I can't seem to reopen it, so I'm already a little worried. It's in the pool table. What do you think it was? A rug? Yeah. I would have gone with Rug. It's purple. Frankly, even if you had made it green, I would have gone with Rug. I That's a very long pool table. The regular pool looks okay. It's got a big house. Really old box of cinnamon brown sugar Pop-Tarts that looks like it's been in here since 1944. Obviously, the discriminating palates of Dewarn Sysops won't accept these. I like the brown sugar ones. Not ones from the 40s, but... Peanut butter dog biscuits. Leonard sees the peanut butter part and keeps thinking they're human food. 
Bob's dog is the only one who actually eats them. Sure. Bob dog hears you as you reach for the dog biscuits and rushes to the scene. Yeah, before this guy accidentally, like, traps me in the cupboard. Have a biscuit, dog. You give Bob, Bob dog a peanut butter dog biscuit. As he wanders away happily, you see a mint condition, fire engine red, 1966 Porsche 912 fall out of his stupid red sweater. Wow. You pocket the car and hide the biscuits so Bob Dog doesn't keep coming after you. Well, that was not how I expected to end up getting past Andy's mom. Okay, the other thing is one whole chicken, without giblets, of course. Presumably, it still has the feathers, beak, and feet. The sad thing about this board is we're not making any of this up. What? This is a pantry, not like a freezer. That's worrying. But okay, we got Porsche from the dog sweater. What is this furniture? Mom, what are you doing? Family TV, it's locked on Comedy Central so much it's frozen there. Fish tank. It once housed a fish named Warren. Ah, oh, I, I absolutely believe that. But he croaked. It's now home to Angelica the Angelfish. Sorry, Warren. Two bathrooms. Man, it's a big enough house, all right. Rip indeed. You were a real one, Morn. Radio. Bookshelf with AD&D stuff, comic books, a plant, and a few actual books. Cowards for not going into details. I would have loved to know what books and comics they were reading. Comfy chair. Table and Andy's ammunition. I'll be taking that. Ooh, we got the mirror. Always a classic. Now what would be powerful is if it was like showing the O here. Stop by the mirror and admire what a good looking ASCII O2 you are. I like this house. There's a lot going on. Closet of things with no apparent purpose. Stack of 20 year old, 20 year old McCall's magazines. They crumble at your touch. Unfamiliar. A large stack of pirated films includes such blockbuster titles as The Brave Little... Imagine pirating The Brave Little To... I mean, I guess I technically have an AVI. The Brave Little Toaster, Santa Claus the Movie, Follow That Bird, and Too Smart for Strangers. This is how they afforded their nice house. They just kept going to Blockbuster and ripping the tapes. American Lung Association, thank you for not smoking, Ben. Sure. Peanuts comics. Large stack of useless books. Fun with Needlepoint. The Brownie Girl Scouts Handbook. Empty Fish Tank. A lot of fun stuff. Oh, are we going to unplug a child's Super Nintendo? That traditionally doesn't go well. It's your typical door leading to the lair of Andy's sister, Lisa. Open it. You barge in and see Lisa talking on the phone. Oh, is that what that was? Hey, what are you doing in here? Don't you know that you have to get the Atari 2600 joystick before we can have the big fight scene? Why? Just a variety of premise for going through this board. Ah, okay. The Atari joystick. I'm wondering if I can, like... I can kind of see the, the little vertical slider there being one. But I guess I really haven't even gone into that other room, so... Let's do that first, and also, other bedroom. All the bedrooms, I guess. Oh, nope, sorry. It's the computer room. Take off your suit, shoes, socks, and feet before you go in. On second thought, don't take your feet off. You'll bleed all over the carpet, and Andy's dad will get pissed off. It's a computer desk. Why the computer isn't on it is beyond us. What kind of setup you got in here, Andy? Excuse me. 
Let's see. Giant bookcases filled with books guaranteed to wake anybody up. I drink coffee when you can read Origin of Sedimentary Rocks. Or the heart-pounding, best-selling Principles of Geomorphology. These books are truly exciting. Same books. It's Andy's They Might Be Giants CD collection. Most of the CDs have been stolen from various sources. I mean, you know what? Actually, this is this is the the house of somebody who would run a BBS. I believe it now. You've got files. There's also a Grateful Dead CD. All right, computer. Hi, I'm calling BBSs around the multiverse to get cool and stupid files for DeLorean. Monitor. Okay, nothing exciting in there though. Alright, here's your Porsche. But now is the time to pull out the Porsche. Wow! Andy's mom takes the Porsche and drives off. Goodbye, Andy's mom. Going to raid your bedroom now. Oh, there we go. It's a television. There's an Atari 2600 sitting on top of it. Too bad Andy's mom never lets him in here. Do you take the joystick? Ahead of your... I feel like that's ahead of their time, appreciating the 2600 in 1995 and not being like, no, it's old and bad. There's a reason it's in your parents' bedroom and not anywhere else in the house. Grab the joystick. Now it's time for the big fight scene. Window or poster? Window. And they've got a pool. They're doing pretty good for themselves. Okay. Let's fight Andy's sister for no particular reason. Lisa. Okay, we'll get this fight scene as soon as I get off the phone. Uh-oh. It's 1995. She'll never be off the phone. It's that's a, it's a character described as a sister. That's her defining trait. Babysitter's Club books and stuffed bunnies. Death to both. Wow, kid, calm down. And more comfy chairs. Death to both. Yeah, you know. KLNG, all cling on radio. Are we actually going to do a code red on a phone line and just unplug the phone? Yeah, I can't just hang it. We're going to unplug the phone. I. This seems dangerous. I don't even remember getting a thing cutter, but I'm glad I have one. Cut the cord. Hello? Hello? Ah! She looks at you angrily. You fiend! Lisa attacks. You can't just say... I mean, I did laugh, so actually I guess you can't just say something silly. There's not really much room for this. Lisa implodes, leaving behind the key to her closet. Something silly. No, that ended up being one of the better parts. Okay, just a whole bunch of stuffed bunnies. Whoa, that had to be a statted empty or something. I feel like I, I left forward. Okay, the third space corner is for Bill's Fortress hideout. This area was so much easier than like anything else in the game, and it was fun to explore, and it was fun to meet the people in it. What's the highlight of it? Oh, you we gotta have the 3D talk engine. You must. It's it's just an enduring legacy. Ah, uh, but I said the third coordinate, so I still think I can't open the door. Alright, so the Y coordinate. I'm gonna assume that that's still somewhere in Silly Field. Because that place is just loaded. 
but let's confirm first. Uh, go to the hideout. What's our flag? Oh, there were four? Well, we got the X coordinate, Y coordinate. If C2, then spam. Okay, give me that good C2. Silly field buildings. Okay, it's under a mattress. That's a fun place to hide something, but how do I learn this? Uh, jig it up. This happens if... Trench code. Okay, I need an ATM code. Which need, what do I need here? Uh, okay. But you got it. Always, always fun to backtrace this. Uh, I don't know, this one. It's like nothing but. It's just very much, you get to explore things. On very rare occasions, you get to shoot things. But it really is just a game about talking to people and finding things, and it doesn't do a great job of letting you find them. Okay, we did this. Oh, wait. Did we not do this? Oh, I don't think I ever got paid for my pizza delivery. I delivered the pizza. Okay. It was nice to know I would actually... Did what I was supposed to for a change. Alright, good. Um, so, where was the pizza place here? Where are shooting? This, I guess, is really what we're supposed to do to make money, but it doesn't seem very efficient. And I don't think it gives you ammo, either. This game suffers from, like, how difficult it makes it to make any progress. Hedgehogs, where is the Pete's place? This town is so dang big. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just force of habit. I have to have a I have a separate scene for ZZT's resolution. There we go. Actors Barn, Art Museum, Electronics. Oh my goodness. Pizza Hut! Thank you. Alright, voila. Alright. Your commission comes to 4.5 gems. Give me the clipboard. Guy looks through the cash register. Blah! Darn. Out of change. Here, take my ATM card and get some money out of the bank. He hands you his ATM card. You almost tell him what a stupid thing to do this is, but decide not to. Sorry, Zorba. I'm gonna let somebody else do a little identity theft today. Yes. Alright, CD guy. Well, give me the coordinates for an ATM code, and we've got one. Give the ATM code to the guy without feeling the tiniest bit of remorse. After all, you have to save the multiverse, right? Okay, the second coordinate is hidden under the smallest mattress in the mattress barn. Good luck with saving the multiverse and all. The man pulls out a lotto card and punches in the numbers on the ATM card. Thanks, he says, and walks off. Hmm. Interesting use of the card, I suppose. Alright then, into the mattress barn. Everybody's favorite store. Which one here? I went through these last week. None of them were good. Okay, tiny mattress for a flea circus. Lo and behold, there's the Y coordinate. Okay, great. So, three for three. I guess four for four. There was another door in the preview. 
go here and build those four. We might actually be wrapping up. Are you excited, boss? Not really. Need the Y coordinates. And the Z coordinate. You feed the Z coordinate into the slot, machine clicks, door opens. Congratulations! On to Bill's Fortress on Flatulence 2. Casey forgot what kind of game this is. Oh, okay. We're going action for the finale. There's a brain squishing flash of light, and you appear outside Bill's Fortress. Stuffiness Central. Not only is it the command post of his attack fleets, the Army of Stuffiness headquarters, and the largest building on Flatulence, too, but it's a pretty darn tough board, too. And if you, man if you do manage to navigate the garden, infiltrate the depths of the military complex, and get past the battalion of Bill's best troops, Bill himself is no pushover. Can you save the day? Have we failed miserably at creating any kind of tension? Only time will tell. Either this is a good time to don your army of stuffiness uniform. Good thing we had that. Otherwise, I suspect we would just instantly die here. A person named Carl looks at your uniform contemptuously. Look, bub, you have to be at least a sitcom writer first class to get in through the front door. Get lost. Okay, which way? Oh, I want to explore the, the hellish lava ricochet room, honestly. Oh, well, not this way. The matching colored link walls are not a great look. What's that machine in your uniform pocket? It's a TDD. Who's deaf? I am. Now can you... Hey, that's a temporal distortion device, not a telecommunications device for the deaf. You can't bring it in here. Oh, did I mention I'm also... Ah, Sixelsid? Get it? What's that got to do with it? Well, when I said TDD, I really meant DDT. Guard looks on his clipboard. Okay, DDT is fine. Come on in. I hope you brought your puzzle disablement card. Bill has ordered us to double our number of puzzles guarding his headquarters. Guard steps aside, letting you come in. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go over here then. Okay, the entire room is blink walled. That's convenient. I guess not this. I guess that's a source. Ah, okay, this will get me this. Alright, crates. Last time I had one of these, I immediately screwed it up. It looks like I just need to get out, which looks like I just hold right. There's that green key, but it looks like I need a white key first, probably. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to get it from the outside. Looking at the inside, there's no other way with that path. What is that purple key up there doing? I'm just going to leave this gym. It's really bouncing around. I don't know why I'd want to open this, so currently I will not. Ah. Okay, so I need... Oh, I guess this is just to get back in. There you go, I will take that gem. And then I have the white key. I still need to get... I don't... Oh, no, I can get it in from the left part here. Okay. Tracing this path. Bank. Oh, I hate the board shifting with me. Beautiful. Okay. Key... Um, what? Why am I being pushed?
What is going on there? Why aren't these guns shooting? Oh, I, I moved too fast. I was well aware that that was going to happen. I've got, uh, uh, you know, something like that. I guess, is, is there just, like, invisible water? Or are they conveyors? This is horrible either way. Oh my god. Don't, don't do this. Okay. We didn't even get a message. Are we at the stat limit, then? Worry about so much in this game. Cool. Shot myself. Please. Thank you. Uh, isn't this a red door? This way to Bill's headquarters. Oh, I wonder if I actually could have taken the other path. I, I kind of want to see that now. Just out of curiosity. Are there two ways in? That's pretty neat. I'm glad I didn't go through the mosh pit room. The dragon pup room. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, can you- oh no, okay, fake ball. What's your deal? It might be because he's probably binds the other guard. Okay. So you get an invisible maze instead. More easily dodge bling balls. The right side is probably easier, but the left side is more engaging. I think this is the correct way to go, honestly. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. They're shooting the Dwarren callers. I can't really do much about it. I like all this incidental stuff going on, though. That's cute. Shame about the murders. Hey, nobody comes in to see the big guy. Says who? Me. But I've got important news. Tell it to me. I'll pass the word along. But if nobody can see him, how will you? Don't try to confuse me, kid. I've had more people escape me than you've had hot dinners. No, wait, I mean... But it's real important, see? Somebody's gonna try to sneak past you and then kill Bill. Oh no. Under your nose. Gee, that's serious. You better go in and warn him. Works on every Carl. Bill's private spam stash. Bill's computer running Microsoft, a division of Bill Corp. Windows 2011. Was there, a, was there a Windows in 2011? I must know now. What would that be? Like Windows 7? Windows 7 happened. Sorry, this is the kind of thing that I just love guessing. Oh no, Windows 7 is 09. Okay, well. Then no. Straight forward. Let's see here. What do we got here? Full house screensaver. Call the warrant or run a spreadsheet. We've got to see this full house screensaver. Get him. Bring him down a peg. You watch the screensaver for about two seconds and then vomit. Spreadsheet? No. Call the warrant? Good alarm. Nice sound design. You've awakened. You've activated the silliness alarm. Bill is awakened and attacks. No, no. I want to try talking to him. Let me jump back a bit in my saves here. Don't mind me. Crochet for beginners. Bill himself lies here asleep on his tacky couch. Okay. But, like, should I just shoot him in cold blood? You shoot Bill, but he only laughs at you. Okay. Oh, man, I don't have as much health as I thought I did. Okay, I'm going to go wake him up deliberately here. 
just in case. I managed to break the boss of the last game, so I'll do everything as by the book as I can. This will wake him up. I have no game plan. Oh, I have to keep shooting. The last fight was a trick fight. None of the other doors let me do anything. Okay, and I'm already trapped here. Is that like a big floppy disk down there? It's really good if it is. If it's not, then congratulations on accidentally making a very good floppy disk. Uh... I mean, I guess I should just... figure out if I have to shoot them a bunch or not. Oh, probably not. Given the board I just accidentally clicked. Let's see. Okay. So yes, I'm not... Not supposed to fight him. Not supposed to wake him up. Probably... In trouble here. Probably wasn't supposed to be here already. Games are just they're just slightly mean and they really don't need to be. It really ruins the experience. It's supposed to be silly, and it usually is. Until it decides that no, you did things wrong, and now you have to start the game over. Um so what we need to do is make Bill sleepwalk. Oh, did I run out of flags or something? I'm supposed to have another option here, I would assume. I'm supposed to use the... The time disrupting device or whatever, which that guard earlier on, before I got in here, like literally told me, "Hey, don't bring that in here." Uh, let's go to the Firefox scene. Too much time in here without y'all seeing things. What secret? There was an Easter egg. Get back to the game. That's cute. That's a good use of Super ZZT there. Uh, this guy, though, didn't he say? Yeah. But he wasn't really looking for a TDD. So I might not actually have it, even though I need it. In silly field. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, we got this, and I remember finding the Bach Bar Compensator, I swore. Okay, so we need a Bach Bar. That was the thing in the airport, I think. Okay, why are there 30 results for Bach Bar? No, we don't need one. This just... I think we ran out of flags. I don't have an easy way to check. There's a handful. None of them display correctly, but like... 
part of me doesn't consider that to be like the, the highest priority what with two games and like you're probably not going to the museum of ZZT to do that I mean it wouldn't hurt but like you know this isn't really helpful honestly you think Doom 2 is violent Okay, so I think I'm just supposed to have this item. I remember talking to those guys. I guess maybe I didn't have the gems because that's been a recurring theme. I don't know if I bought it or not. But all right, you fiddle with the TDD and manage to speed up time around the computer to an incredible rate. The crackling of the TDD wakes Bill. He sleepily pushes his copy of Stuffiness Weekly off his chest and mumbles. Mmm, sort. What time is it, Yawn. Oh, time to take over the multiverse. You stand very still and pretend you're a statue. Bill, in his half-asleep stupor, doesn't notice you. Hmm. And now to put my evil plan into action. Let me just go in my evil planner and fill in my fleet commanders on my details. Yeah, give me the fleet commanders on the phone. Computer? Bill mumbles into the computer. What the? Unregistered for 30 days? I just got it a week ago. You let out an evil laugh. Mwahaha. Oh man, is this the, the crux of the game is that he didn't register his shareware? That's actually very good. I like that quite a bit. Bill whirs around. You. I foiled your evil plan to conquer the multiverse by secretly blowing up strategic silly planets, stealing spam from 769s, and murdering the silly population of various planets with your armies of bunnies and people named Carl. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you rotten little punk. Meet me in the fight scene, pronto. Bill disappears with a puff of smoke. I can't believe it all came down to unregistered sh shareware. Let that be a lesson to you. This must be the fight scene room. Oh, fight! Okay, there's no up and down. Are we just... Aw, oh, man. This is just David Beast Wrestler all over again. Uh, I use two. Yeah, let's just... Fights. Don't forget to register. Exactly. Can I just shoot him? It's probably disabled, but yeah. This is okay. It's just Sweeney's Gambit the fight. Just hope that he doesn't hit you too. I like the health bar. That looks nice. I really doubt I can do this given my current health and everything. Oh my goodness. Fine, I will save it as one. There's a reason I save my games as one. Okay, so he doesn't approach. No, no. Not a very exciting fight, I'm I'm sorry to say. Okay. So I will not get away with just holding the button down, which good. I'd prefer that not work. I can cheat for health, and that's what I'm gonna do probably after this one, because It's just, I don't think I've managed to hit him without him hitting me back, other than, like, one time. Like. Yeah. Nah, we're just... Sorry, Bill. I'm stronger. Probably still not strong enough, honestly. Finish him. I don't know the fatalities. Oh, I, I got one anyway. Bill having exploded. 
It feels like there's a sentence missing there. Bill having exploded, you look around for the passage to the mandatory you windscreen. But wait, what's this? Egad, Bill's ghost rises from the puddle of ASCII blood and guts. Haha, -ha, you'll never get rid of me. Hairware Productions will be forced to do still more games about me. Ah ha 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 ha. You shudder at the thought of more HP games using this stupid plotline. Me too. But suddenly... Oh my god! It can't be. No! Absolutely nailed it. Beautiful rendition. 100% didn't think it was going to happen. And three games in a row, I've been bumping into the, the Ghostbusters symbol as a joke. That is, I could not think of a better way for this to have ended. That was perfect. You shake the Ghostbusters' hands and thank them. They open up the portal to the U windscreen for you and disappear. They leave without a word. That was excellent. Flight 194 to Earth is now boarding. With Bill permanently out of the picture, his entire interuniversal force of stuffiness is thrust into chaos and silliness reigns supreme. Yeah, right. Let's face it, no matter how stuffy Bill might have been, there's always someone waiting for him to go so that they can take his place. Even as the people named Carl mourn the loss of their beloved leader, sinister figures are grappling behind a dark curtain for the forces of stuffiness. We could squelch stuffiness entirely within this game, but quite frankly, we're sick of hearing that everything's going to be alright. And if you're not, you should be. Damn. So there will always be more battles to fight. This is true in real life as well. We're getting real with this suddenly. There will always be another Bill, another David Duke, another Barry Manwell. <laughs> okay. I guess. For as long as the Warren runs, and probably longer, there will also be those who preach the messages of hate, boredom, and polka dots. However, we at Hairware Productions are not going to fight the battles to come with sequels to this game. We have several other silly things planned. See the docs for details. As you look down the jet walk to that spaceship that will take you back to Earth, you ponder these things. I appreciate the dunking on David Duke too, <laughs> but I think it's a little rude to Barry Manilow, quite frankly. Hi, I'm Garrison Geller. You know it's been a quiet week in Lake Wobegon, my hometown out there on the prairie. Garrison seems to forget you're there and continues mumbling to himself. Hi, Garrison. Morn. Morn wipes a tear from his eye and gives you an autographed photo. You try to smudge the ink, but it's not real. Captain Bob? Captain Bob welcomes you. Thanks for beating Bill. I've nominated you for inclusion in the Silliness Hall of Fame. We've managed to clear out the fortress, and with the entire Dewarn calling population of the planet of the green ASCII 01s, the ones that didn't get shot anyway, converted it into a silly outpost. Its position on the edge of this galaxy makes it an ideal defensive position, for I believe our next challenge will come from the Horsehead Nebula over there. As Captain Bob continues to outline his strategic plans, you idly wonder how he got started in the superheroing business. And his cape. Well, we can't touch his cape. Hi there. Just get onto your flight and you'll be out of this game. Beware the Corsivorous Caterpillar. Shake the PLO leader's hand. Thank you so much, he says, in a voice choked with emotion. If it hadn't been for you... Bill's stuffiness would have overrun the plot. If you hadn't brutally murdered him, I never would have gotten another cameo. Well. Fufu, the little announcer boy in his band, come to wish you goodbye. Oh, I like this ship. Oh, Flight 194 to Earth is now boarding. Big Chrono Trigger enter. Or not Chrono Trigger, Chrono Wars. So this is it. 
No matter how hard we've tried, you still won the game. I mean, I had to cheat a lot. I had to cheat a lot for gems. I had to cheat for ammo. I had to cheat for health. I had to cheat for flags. I don't think I ever had to zap. I only voluntarily did. Thank you, Tempvia, for the follow. But there was a lot of cheating involved. This is not an approachable game, which is kind of unfortunate. Because if it was, it wouldn't have been that bad, honestly. But it really slows down a lot, and you just can't figure out how to make progress easily. I had to start looking things up far more often than I would have liked. And some of it was certainly on me, but I don't think all of it was. Alright, you get 100 po Wow, 100 bonus points. I, th I thought it was going to be like per ammo or something. No, just 100 points for outsmarting us. There you go. Well, that's it. Hope you liked it. If so, or if not, call to Warren. And leave Leonard or Andy mail telling us what you think. Program, Leonard Richardson and Andy Shile. Certain bits inspired by Joan, Joe Moon, Hormel, McLean. Others who wish to remain anonymous. Play testing the duo. Michael Yunt. Dario Espinosa. Soundtrack written slash ripped off. Leonard Richardson. I mean, even if you called it back in the day, you wouldn't get anything pleasant on the phone. Yeah, dial in. I, I honestly don't recognize those other names. At least off the top of my head. Artwork. Bob Dog. Leonard Richardson. Based on an idea by George B. Shaw. This game is dedicated to the memory of Henrik von Topadon. Goodbye. Hey, I even got the high score. With all my cheating. You know what? That was kind of a wild game. A wild series, honestly. It really came into its own, though, in the third part. It started really rough. The roughness never completely went away. Started really rough. We didn't find our palindrome. I did start looking towards the end. But it it got better as it went on, and honestly, this third one was reasonably solid. There were some genuine funny moments, and there were plenty of moments that probably would have been funny if I was, like, in my teens in 1995. I can't fault them for their jokes not holding up so well, like, nearly 30 years later. That's not their problem. But it was pretty neat. There was a lot going on, and again, as far as Super ZZT games go, there's very few of them, and they're generally pretty bad. This is honestly really up there. I would not be in a hurry to replay this because of all those slow moments. But if this game was just a little more streamlined, I really think this would be, like... Mm. I, want, I don't want to say highly recommendable. I don't want to go that far. But, like, definitely a, a good way of, of, like, seeing what Super ZZT could have been. Because, for the most part, it really wasn't much of anything. But it's, it's really trying with its gags most of the time. And there's a lot in here. There's just a lot of good things going for it. And a little bit of action to so it's not just it's not just touching objects and doing fetch quests. No, oh, I I enjoyed it overall, especially this last part, honestly. Silly Field is kinda big, but eh. It was it was worth exploring again. It was fun to revisit and see what they did with it. It was overall not bad at all. But we're done. No more. Now we will put Super ZZT away for another year. 
But you know what? The odds are pretty good that next year's game won't be as good as this, honestly. I think it's a pretty tough bar to clear. Now that nothing has, but... I don't want to double dip so soon with Super ZZT stuff. So that is going to do it then for today. Remember to call the Warren BBS. If it was still around. They seem like nice folks. They're kind of silly. That is going to do it then for today. i got to come up with what the next bonus stream is going to be. We're now at the halfway mark. But yeah. I'm going to do it for today. Uh, we will be back on Sunday at noon Pacific. Uh, don't we set the clocks, actually? I think this Sunday? I don't know if we do or not. I think it's this week. It might be next week. But double check your times. It'll be whatever noon Pacific is on Sunday, regardless of clock adjustments. But we're continuing to go through some unpreserved ZZT worlds, and at this point, it's very difficult to come up with themes. There's not a lot left. But there's going to be an anti-Power Rangers game on Sunday, I'll tell you that much. We're just going to go all over the place, see what we can find, and hope we get something pretty cool. I don't have high hopes for Power Ranger Bash, truth be told, but you never know. There have been some fun surprises. And then we'll be back again on Monday, where I've been playing some non-ZZT stuff on Mondays for Beyond Worlds, as I've been calling it. Or we'll be wrapping up uh, the testimony of Trixie Glimmer Smith. We're gonna stop some horrors from doing horrible things. The return of the King in Yellow and all that. Nothing good. Anyway, if you enjoy the stream, give a follow. Show some support, as always appreciated. Uh, if you are particularly daring, you can always give a subscription or sign up for the Museum of ZZT Patreon and get right there. I'm going to decide if I wanted to say early access or access to early. Get access to early articles before they go live there, covering these games in uh, a bit more detail than just on-the-fly commentary like this. Anyway, I think that'll wrap it up for tonight. Thank you all for sticking around. Hope you all had fun. Hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. And hope to see you all next time. Later. <laughs>